to another YouTube video. Today we are on our way to an oddity store in Toronto called Prehistoria and it is apparently uh, a free museum of oddities and taxidermy and also a gift shop. So I'm pretty excited. We just heard about this on a whim. Someone at Brody's work told him about it and I can't wait to see it. I, I hope it's amazing because I love oddities and I love taxidermy. So off we go. Oh my god, this says, probably can't read it, it says Child's Great Plague Ring of London, 1655, that's crazy. It's a two-headed goat! Oh my god! Wow. It's like super gigantic black bear. It ate three people. Yeah, that ate three people apparently, if you read the story about it. In a park. In Algonquin. In Algonquin Park, yes, specifically. I don't know what that is. Is that a whale? Um, Does it say? It looks like a whale. Whale skeleton. Wow. More crazy skills. And coral. Yep, he is cute. There's a bunch of wet specimens. Snow leopard heart. Wow. Vaguely disgusting. Anus. Does that say lion anus? Is yes. that what you said? Okay. That's what I thought I heard. Just checking. Just checking. Let's see this lion anus. Did I miss that? I totally did. There we go. <laughs> One lion anus, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. This is apparently a live and also dead reptile room. These are the dead ones. It's like snakes and lizards and stuff. And what do we got down here? A turtle. A tortoise. A tortoise. <laughs> Aww. He's cute. Go see the guy on the end there. He's super cute. And there's ooh, there's another big one in there. That guy's cool. Got a big bok choy to eat. He was eating. Now we know. Oh, there he's eating. It's like he knows I'm looking at him, so he doesn't want to eat in front of people. Look at him go. So They're cute. so funny when they eat. They really are. <laughs> Skeletons. Here you'll find your standard uh, some assembly required water monitor lizard skeleton. Just needs to be assembled and put together there. Drawers of assorted teeth. It's like, what else we got? These are apparently lamb teeth. Oh, lamb teeth don't open. What is this? Cougar, cougar claws, leopard claws, cow teeth. Cool. Also tie dye skills. And look at these horns. I'm buying some of these. I have like 100% buying some of these because I'm going to need them for my birthday. I'm going to make myself some sort of epic headpiece to wear for my birthday that 100% involves those horns. Because that's amazing. 
I had actually looked at this kind of said kind of yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we made sure we didn't uh, <laughs> post that. <laughs> I actually do have to realize the one. Oh, but if it already, yeah. So I just have a, a code I put in. So I can't believe this is like I, the I gift shop, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's super. Like, this place. Yeah, this seems like the museum part, but this is actually the stuff you can buy. Also, like two. I haven't been over there yet. Two headed crows. Rogue taxidermy. I friggin' love it. Wow, this is like awesome and creepy. Uh, I officially want everything in this store that I've seen. These are all wet specimens. Some scorpions, some kind of turtle. And a kangaroo scrotum in a jar for the person who has everything. Wow. It's a basilisk. Wow. And then human bones. You can buy human bones here, which is totally awesome. They're probably super expensive, though. Wow. And then real human skulls. I don't even want to know how much those are. I'm not going to ask because I can't afford it. I'm not going to ask. Yeah. Hi, Brody. Hi. You even, why are you wearing your sunglasses? Because I forgot to switch them. Oh. Okay, let's get some more stuff. Egyptian <laughs> mummy eyes. This is crazy. That was for tilling uh, the soil. Those two are actually hexagons. Cool. This at one point, yeah, right? <laughs> Toads with attitude. Are they actually purses? They're actually purses. Yeah, they're actually purses. They're functional taxidermy. Yes. I love that one. Like the glamour shot one. <laughs> it, it's just, it's like, it just, like it literally looks like he's like perched on top of like, like a, like a like bearskin rug rugs. like that. Like he's yep. naked and like on a bearskin rug. Yeah. That's I, so I don't funny. Know why went there, but. Brody is happy. He's yeah, digging through a basket of crow feet. Talons, thank you. Okay, fine. I'm choosing this one. That's the one you want? Yep. You having a hard time? I'm having a really hard time picking because some of these have so much personality. Like, look at that one. That's cool. This one can go well with my owl. I've never seen them in person before. They're freaking tiny. They are, eh? They're so tiny. Like, look at, look at my finger. Next to this frog. You that's are crazy. three that's inches from death. death. Yes, three inches from death. That's right. Boys and dark frogs. Right, we just got out of Prehistoria and it was fucking amazing. 
Like, absolutely amazing. We bought three sets of horns, I think. Yep. Yep. Three sets of horns. And we also got... Two Raven Talons. Two Raven Crow. I think that they're Crow? Or Raven? Either way. Blackbird feet. Raven Son of Goth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're Raven Talons then. Apparently that earns us extra Goth points. We got that. And they also gave you a free little bone skull as a birthday gift, which I thought was really, really nice of them. Yes. So, yeah, that place is incredible. If there's anybody near Toronto... It's free. You can just go in and look around all you want. And they have a lot of really cool shit for sale, um, in my case, for fashion and art projects, but also if you just like to collect weird shit. They have uh, a lot of bone pieces, uh, full skeletons. They have taxidermy. They have skins. Uh, and all of it is actually... Uh Ethically Sustainab sourced. Yeah, sustainably sourced. Which is um, really, really cool yeah. that they announce that because I'm sure they get a lot of flack from people about that. But they were actually telling us about it like it's either like stillborn or like things that have died naturally in sanctuaries. Yeah, and or they go, they go through the or... actually telling us a neat story about going to clean out a tiger pen at a zoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so. uh, some of the various uh, personalities some of those tigers and lions have. So just so you know, before anybody is gonna get upset. freaked out or upset or whatever it's all ethically sourced and uh yeah so enjoy yeah. it's actually really neat it's it is you should definitely go it's in toronto ontario yeah go visit if you can anyways if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel um if you want to follow me on instagram i'm madame absinthe madame underscore absinthe same thing on twitter if you want to follow me on twitter and watch the projects that i'm going to create with the weird shit that i just bought at that store and brody is misanthropist Misanthro, P-I-S-S-E-D underscore on Instagram only because that's all he has at the moment. So anyways, please like, please subscribe, and hopefully we will be able to make more vlogs for you shortly.